What is up guys? EB with Macintosh Tips. We are back. It is Thursday, which means we've got a great tutorial or tip for you for your Mac or your iPhone. Uh, sorry about last week. Scooter was sick on Monday. You guys sent him best wishes on Twitter and also on our YouTube page. Wasn't feeling well. Had a flu for about a week. So uh, he's feeling a lot better, guys. Thanks for all the support. And let's go get on to this great tip. Today, we've got a great application called Better Touch Tool, which will basically take your trackpad, a regular mouse, uh, your magic trackpad and your uh, magic mouse and turn it into a phenomenal uh, tool that will just basically branch out so many options that you can do right here on your computer. So this is what the app looks like. Let's go ahead and write into it. All right, now I'm going to demo everything in Safari. It's the best, best way to do it. All right, so as you see, very basic, uh, out, uh, I guess, appearance here. Um, you're going to have all of your global and your uh, finder uh, application choices on the left. On the top here, you can choose which application or device you were trying to sync this gesture up to. And then, of course, you have advanced gestures for your mouse and also your trackpad. I'm going to show you just some basic gestures and how this app works. So, as you guys all know, if you have the Magic Trackpad on your laptop, uh, or if you have the Magic Trackpad individual for iMac or whatever uh, sit next to your laptop, you can use all these gestures as well as on your Mighty Mouse. Um, this application also lets you do it through your keyboard and also through a regular mouse, whether you're scrolling or clicking or whatever it is, it lets you do it with that with those uh, devices as well. So very cool open functionality. So let's go right into it. I'm going to choose trackpad and then in just a minute I'll, I'll demo the magic mouse. So on trackpad we all know that uh, if I tap a single tap, you know, it goes into the next window. Uh, double tap or right click if you have it set up in your preferences and if you don't you can do that right away. Um, three fingers up doesn't do anything, three fingers down doesn't do anything, four fingers up shows your desktop, and four fingers down uh, shows your expose. And of course you can set those up in system preferences just like this. It's very, very easy to do. All right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these up. Now I can go over here and choose whatever gesture I would like to do. So touchpad gesture, I'm going to do three fingers, swipe up, and I've got that set to volume up. And then three fingers swipe down. I got that set to volume down. Now, if you would like to change it, you can either just go in here and click a key on your keyboard, whether it's you know nine or whatever you want it to be, or you can go over here um, and just uh, choose the uh, are the actions that are already preset. So I'm going to say volume down for three fingers swipe down. Now, if you see, take three fingers on the trackpad, swipe down, it turns on volume down. Very cool. Three fingers go up. It turns off volume up. Now it gets a little annoying if you have to just keep it like that, but if you're just gonna bump it up two or three times, you can just do it real fast, real simple and easy, and it makes gestures, the, it makes the trackpad worth so much more than what it's already made made for, us doing these multi-gesture things. Now something else which is very, very cool is if you go show live view. Over here on the left side, it's gonna show a view, and this little white area is your trackpad, and the red area is gonna run right down the middle of it. As you see that I'm rubbing my finger down the middle of the trackpad. And this allows you to one, uh, see how sen the sensitivity of the trackpad and also uh, to fill the gestures and it'll show them on the pad over here. And as long as it'll recognize them, you can do them as, um, as gestures, all right? Or as commands. So as you see there, if I do two fingers, put two fingers on there and it'll let me dance them around, go in and out and basically connect them as soon as I touch down. And the sensitivity is so accurate on this trackpad. You can see when I am barely putting my finger on the mouse or the trackpad and then I push all the way down, it, it figures out the width of my, my finger fingertip and then it measures that. So it's, it's really phenomenal what you can do with this. And it supports up to four different fingers. So you can do, you can do four uh, fingers at a time, um, real simple and easy. And that's just a really cool way to see a live view of what you're trying to choose. All right, so I've shown you guys that, and you can add as many gestures right here as you want to. Of course, if you love this app, I'm sure they would definitely appreciate it if you donated. Um, great app, all right? You get your general settings for your general gestures, or if you get your advanced settings. So you guys can go and play with those. I'm just gonna go over the basics of what this does. Now let's switch over to the Magic Mouse. Now, once your Magic Mouse is connected, it's very simple and easy to do. You just switch over here to Magic Mouse and hit Add New Gesture. Of course, if you have it selected, you can delete that gesture if it's getting annoying or if it's getting in the way of your productivity on your computer. Just delete that gesture, and of course, you can come back at any time and add it back at your pleasing. All right, so what I have mine set is three fingers scroll up. 
I just went on the list here, chose three finger scroll up, and that is for expose. All right. Now, as you know, on the trackpad or on the uh, magic pad, sorry, magic mouse, there's a trackpad built into the top of this, and it goes all the way down into the back of the apple. And I'll show you guys how function, how functional and sensitive this mouse is. So if I put my finger right there at the back of the apple, you can see it picks it up on the screen. And as I scroll up and around, it'll pick up two, three, and even four fingers. Oh, is it four? Yeah four fingers on this thing. So the, the functionality of just this little small device is, is expanded to such a, a huge potential uh, with this app. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set those as expose and three fingers down as uh, show desktop or sorry uh, vice versa. So if we go three fingers scroll up you can see that it shows on desktop. If I scroll back down it'll go back to my original settings. If I go three fingers scroll down It'll open up Expose, and I can go throughout different applications by just clicking. So very cool there. Um, like I said, you can set as many gestures as you want. It's simple and easy to do, and I just love playing around with this thing to see what kind of gestures I can make up and, uh, and kind of, I guess, explore the application to its potential. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this app. Click the link right there to visit our t-shirt shop and also download this app for free. Hope you guys enjoy. And if you have, uh, if you haven't yet, go and join our Facebook page. We got a lot of good followers over there. We're always putting stuff on there daily. Anyways, this is EB with Macintosh Tips. Go in that scooter. No. Hope he feels better soon. Thanks for all the support. Peace.